In this video, we'll be talking about grade 10 number patterns. Try spot any pattern in the following sequence on your own. It should be pretty easy. So we look at the number there, number five. These are all terms and we call that a sequence. The three dots means the sequence continues forever. Now let's uh, consider the following. Okay, this, with this pattern, we start by saying 4, 6, 8, 10, and it goes forever, as we can see with the three dots. We see that the first term is 4, the second term is 6, the third term would be 8, and the fourth term would be 10. It's very important that we notice this. And from here we'll move forward. We can see there's a constant difference between the numbers of 2. This will be our D value. So our difference represented by a D. There we go. So generally common differences mean a straight line relationship like a graph with a constant gradient. Something that looks like that. Now, there's a general solution for working out these sort of patterns, which makes it a lot easier if they get a bit more confusing. The general solution is a plus n minus 1 in brackets times by d. When there's a constant difference, like the example above. So, our a value is our first term. Our first term is t1, and uh, in this case it is 4. There we go. And our difference is d, and that is represented by the value 2, as we have noticed above. There we go. So now, let's look at this going forward. We say Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 in brackets times d. Tn is equal to 4 plus n minus 1 times 2, just by substitution. Easy again. Now, this is your general solution. So if they ask you in a test, please write the general solution for this specific pattern, that's what you will write. You'll write your general and then you'll sub in your points. You can check this by substituting values. So you can take, for instance, Tn is equal to 4 plus n minus 1 times by 2. Let's search for the third term. We say 4 plus 3 minus 1 because n is 3, and we say times by 2. We calculate the answer, and we have the answer at 8. Let's look up and see what we've got. The answer is indeed... 8 for term 3. And there you go. Easy game.